Non Fluffy Making games in Construct 3 is fun, but do you want to know what's more fun? Remaking someone else's game better using Construct 3. Or so I thought, until I met this guy. I'd already challenged some Unity devs and a Godot dev to remake each other's games, but I was looking for a bigger challenge. Something that was haunting me. Something I needed to make right. In the summer of 2022, Rocky Mullet entered Vim Jam 2, and so did I. I submitted Boss Wars on the Edge of Space, which came 26th out of 406, which I was super proud of. Mullet nabbed third place with his game Tough Fluff, a game about a bunny. This was my chance for revenge. If I could remake his game Tough Fluff and make it better, while simultaneously watching him fail at trying to remake one of my games, I'd finally be able to put right the wrongs of life. <laughs> Well, whipping the mullet. <laughs> to remake this game in all its glory, I'd need to create a dialogue system, jump pads, friendly AI that follows the player, a camera that tracks the player, boss interactions, eight directional shooting, a multi-stage boss fight, cutscenes, level variety, and a bunny, which I had a little experience in from a previous game. Bunny, you better get off that last patch I need. It's not my fault. Okay, okay. I'm beginning to see why this game plays third. But it's too late to back out now, right? And before we continue with the video, just a massive thank you and a shout out to my wonderful Patreon and YouTube channel members, Fuzel CC, Retro Galaxy, Olivia Bernier, Amari Lewis, Enmark Games, Tor Hammock, Alexanderson, Rob, Jared Dumont, Lighting Cat, Martin K, Julian Cruz, Raul San Gonzalo, 60 Plus Game Dev, and Nathan Wilson. Thanks very much for supporting the game dev journey, and for more information about what's on offer on the Patreon, there is a link in the description. This game would have many features, so I needed to find a way to stay organised. I decided to create a separate event sheet for each individual level, along with an event sheet that would hold common game logic, applicable to all levels, such as scoring, pausing, and camera movement. As each level would have its own boss encounter, I needed a specific boss logic on each level. I did create an event sheet called Enemies, but this was mainly to include the boss's loading logic. When using multiple event sheets, make sure you remember to include the ones you need in the main event sheet for the layout, or the logic on those event sheets won't work. Throughout this game, there would be a progressive dialogue between the player and the boss that would stop and start at various points in the game. To manage this, I created a system called Flow. I had a global variable track the flow stage, and a boolean to check whether the player can interact or not. If the player can interact, which I set true on boss encounters using triggers within the level. Then pressing E advances the flow stage. The dialog box is set to display the text according to which stage the flow is at. I created a HUD visual that I positioned just above the top edge of the layout and gave it the tween behavior. Then created two functions that I would call at every interaction to tween the HUD in and out. The AI bunny is a simple sprite pinned to a square. The square has the platform behavior and controls of the movement. The sprite has two simple animations, one for idle and one for hopping. I set the sprite mirrored or not mirrored based on the X position of the player and put jump triggers around the level to stop the bunny getting stuck. The bunny AI logic is pretty simple too. If the bunny is left or right of the player, I set the base sprite to simulate control left or right. If the bunny hits a jump trigger, I set the base sprite to jump. Oh, I like the, the kind of win and the mullet, the mullet in the win. That's great. So I needed to incorporate a separate control system using the eight directional movement behavior. I set the group that controlled the original controls to deactivate and created a new group called Fallen Controls that would be specific to just this level. The final stage would be similar to level one, but with enemies. I created two enemies, a bird that would drop eggs and little mini bosses that would spawn in from the right and move and shoot at the player. Once you reach the end of the level, you will encounter the final boss which will include all the boss attacks you've experienced so far in the game. Once the boss HP reaches zero, the final flow stage of dialogue is triggered. Take that. Give me back Fluffy. And the final cutscene plays. If you would like to download the source file for this game, it's available on my itch.io page for a small fee. Or alternatively, if you're a Patreon, it's free, along with all my other content. If you made it this far, why not subscribe or leave a comment to let me know you're one of the best viewers. Either way, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, you'll probably enjoy these videos just as much.